How do you differentiate VBA from, well, any other, any of the mainstream players out there? Yeah, I think what's important to bear in mind is that the vector embedding itself is just a data type. So uh, storing a vector embedding is something we can already do for ages because it's just a, you know, it's just an array of floating points or integers nowadays, but the point is like, it's just an array of numbers, right? Querying it, so retrieving it, that's a different story. That's why these indices start to play a role, right? Still, that's the uniqueness in these, um, uh, uh, in these indices. So the fact that we now start to see that almost any database under the sun has support for vector embeddings is, in my opinion, like a great thing that shows that there's a need for it. Uh, somebody sent me a video of uh, Larry Allison uh, this week, even using the term, the word vector database about the new upcoming release of Oracle. So I think it's safe to assume that if it's in the Oracle database, it's established, right? And I think that's a good thing. Great. So now the question becomes about, hey, now you mentioned also new players, right? So also where we sit. So now the question is like, okay, so what's differentiating? And if you look at just that history, that's like an age old thing, right? So um, uh, we did an interview with uh, Andy Bevlo from uh, uh, Carnegie Mellon and of course the, the famous database professor. And I asked him the question that I said like, you know, why isn't there just one database? Just in general, why are there so many? And one of the conclusions that we got is like that also has to do a lot with developer experience. And so what is a developer building? What does a developer want? What does a developer need? And that's very different, right? So that is in the interaction with today's database are very um, different. So for example, in a NoSQL time, when we start to see these JSON, uh, these document databases, right? The Postgres people said, you know, you can store a JSON object in, uh, in Postgres. But of course the developer experience was very different. So talking about vector databases, it has to, a lot to do with the quality of the database, which gives a certain type of performance and those kind of things. But it's kind of the low hanging fruit because you just put dollars in that and then great developers work on that. But it's the developer experience, how you educate people, how your clients work, the features that you have, how you get to these features. That is very differentiating. So one thing we say, for example, at Weaviate, is that we like to use the terminology AI native, right? So where we're saying like Weaviate is AI native and that's different from just vector search that we support way more things than um, just vector search to build AI native applications. And so that is the big differentiating factor. So model integrations, hybrid search, filtered search, um, storage of multiple embeddings on data objects, and so on and so forth. And we're going to have a lot of stuff uh, coming up in the pipeline. So that's the big differentiator.